What was that? I should kill everyone and escape? Sorry. It's the voices. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what they really said. What is up, everybody? Glenn here, and welcome to Top Tuesdays, episode number three. On this edition of Top Tuesday, we're going to look at my top five DC Funko Pop figures from my collection. So, my DC collection is a little bit smaller than my Marvel and Star Wars collections. I've got about 40 DC uh, Pops at this point. Uh, and this is the Heroes line. Uh, uh, Funko labels their DC line uh, Pop Heroes. I've got about 40 from that collection. It was actually this time pretty easy to pick out five uh, that stood out above the others for me. There's definitely some that stand apart from the crowd. And I think part of that is I've got some older DC Pops, and honestly, the older ones, the ones that are retired, are actually worth a little bit more than these top five. But Funko has really come a long way over the past three, four years on the detail of their Pops and how well they're able to execute the figures. They've just gotten better and better. You look at some of those early Pop figures, they're very basic, you know, great, but very, um, a lot simpler less detail than some of the more current pop figures. So all of these are, are fairly new figures. Um, none of the old ones in there. I like the old ones, and again, they're, the retired ones are, are going to be worth more, but these are the pops that really stand out to me. So let's check it out with number five. Number five. All right, my number five pop. I just mentioned that these are mostly new pops. This is a very new pop. In fact, I just got this one about two days ago. And it is the Harley Quinn Pink Recolor for Valentine's Day edition. This was out in time for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's basically just a recolor of the um, Harley with the mallet. Um, but, you know, and I'm not a big fan of recolors in general as far as you know, uh, it being a little bit on the lazy side, but this came out so good and the colors are so bright that not only does it stick out amongst the other Harleys and the rest of my DC collection, but my pops in general, this just pops. You know, I keep looking at it. Again, it's only a couple of days old. I only got it a couple of days ago, but I've, since it's been, uh, since I've gotten it, I just keep going back to it. It's quickly become one of my favorite pop figures. As soon as I saw it online the first time, I knew I had to have it. Um, and I'm a big Harley fan anyway, but this one um, really stands out for me as far as the colors. And, uh, you know, it was a, a, a fun little seasonal choice for them to do as a Hot Topic exclusive. That's what this one is. All right, number five. Number four. My number four uh, DC Pop I reviewed a little bit ago, not too long ago, as part of the uh, Batman Arkham Knight set, and that is Scarecrow. I just, the reason I love this pop is just the detail they've put into it. I mean, it just looks, this is what I was talking about as far as uh, Funko getting better and better all the time and making their pop figures as detailed as they do. So this one just really, it's got stuff going all over the place. From the uh, wrinkles in his ugly mug to, you know, you've got the syringe glove, you've got the details of his costume, all the way to the tattered uh, coat that he's wearing. Um, it just, this is amazing. This is one of the most detailed pops I've seen, and definitely one of the most detailed from the DC Heroes line. There's the stitching on the back. And again, I reviewed this back in the, uh, the main review, but this just popped up into my top five just for the sheer detail of it and uh, how great it looks from the face all the way to the uh, to the rest of the mold as well. So, Scarecrow number four. Number three. All right, my number three, there had to be a Batman in there, and I, I was going to choose between a couple of Batmans, but this one is from the Arkham Knight set again and the Arkham Knight Batman. And again, I just am gravitated towards this as my favorite Batman pop right now because it is such 
a high level of detail and gloss and shine and shimmer. Um, the suit just looks incredible from the panels on the torso to the uh, gold on the belt, uh, his gloves, his boots, cape came out great as well. It's even got detail on the cape back itself and paneling on the on his on his cowl. So I mean it just looks incredible. And the amount of detail in these newer pops are just amazing. Uh, so, you know, I've got a lot of different Batmans and I like all of them. Uh, but this one stands out to me as the as just the best looking one that I have so far. So Batman Arkham Knight at number three. Number two. All right, number two is one that's not so new, but it's not so old either. And I've actually gotten this same pop twice. Um, once I uh, traded it away and then got it again. That is Deathstroke. This is the metallic version. Uh, this is the PX previews. Not only is it the metallic version, but it's the metallic version with the red eye. There's also a metallic version that has a second blue eye. So um, there's just a couple of different versions. And there, I, I like this pop a lot because it's one of my favorite metallic pop figures. Um, if you look at the detail, it really has a great shine to it. Um, and it's this is one of the few pops, too, that one of my favorite things about it is the back, which you don't see very often. But just the detail on the back with his his armor, um, his sword looks great. Uh, I like the red eye versus the blue eye as well. Um, this pop just came out really good. And I like this, the contrast and the, uh, uh, the red and the blue kind of sitting right next to each other all mingled up. Um, it just, it's a great color scheme that, uh, that looks really good on this pop figure. So, number two, Deathstroke Metallic. Number one. All right, I'm kind of breaking one of my rules with number one. Now, with the past, I said I wouldn't, the past, uh, the past Top Tuesdays, I wouldn't do any two-packs. Well, I'm not doing a two-pack, but I'm breaking up a two-pack to get my number one pop, and that is the uh, Batman vs. Superman Metallic Superman. This is the metallic version. It's part of the two-pack with Batman that uh, is a Walmart exclusive. Um, sorry, Toys R Us exclusive, not Walmart. Um, but this is the, the metallic version. Now, a slight, a slight gripe I have is that this, this set isn't as metallic as it could be. Um, it definitely has... I just got the regular Batman, and I... I should have brought it out for comparison, but you can definitely see the difference. But compared to a metallic like the Deathstroke, um, it's not all that metallic. But having said that, it's still my favorite of my DC Pops that I've gotten so far. Again, a new one. Um, and I think the reason is, not only the metallic, and not only is it a good-looking mold, and the colors look great, um, and the sheen is really good. It, to me, this one's all about the pose. And it's all about the movement, the sense of movement. I think I've said before that I like pops that have things in their hands that are in some sort of uh, some sort of pose that conveys that they're moving. And nothing conveys more of a sense of movement than this pop with a stand that has Superman in the air flying. So um, I dig this pop for that very reason, and it's why it's my current favorite. Um, it can be a little hard to handle because the, it'll pop out of the base every once in a while. But the fact that this just has a great sense of movement and, I mean, the cape, look look how the cape flows on the back as if, you know, the wind's caught it. It just, it's very true to how you would see, you would think Superman would be flying in a Funko Pop form. So, um, my number one DC Pop right now for sure uh Superman. This is the, from the Metallic 2-pack. All right, I hope you enjoyed this rundown of my top five DC Pops. Definitely leave a comment down below. What's your favorite DC Pop figure? What's What do you have in your collection that you enjoy? And, and, and uh, what do you think about these that I showed you today? Um, you know, it, again, it was really easy to come up with these five Pops because I just think these these newer ones are just bring that sense of uh, 
sense of awe because they're so detailed and I just love them. So um, that's it for this Top Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching again. Uh, check out our social media feeds and hit that subscribe button as well. Um, I already told you to leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Um, and, you know, throw us a like or a dislike there. Uh, let me know how you, how you like the video. Um, that's going to be it for now. We've got some great stuff coming up, including some more unboxings. And I've got two fun Copop reviews this week. And those are going to start on Thursday. So until next time, we will see you later. Have a great one. Bye-bye.